I'm 18 weeks post-surgery of my Achilles tendon and I just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the things that I've been doing and how I'm going to keep progressing from here. So I was able to start jogging or sort of jogging at 14 weeks. Now I'm getting a little bit better at that and we've added in a few jumps. I'm doing some skater jumps which I'll demonstrate here in a moment and even hopping on one foot on my surgery leg. And then I'm also going to show you how I've started implementing Nordic hamstring curls again. I got pretty good at those a while back and I haven't been able to do them at all because the strap goes right across my Achilles tendon that I use and so I just haven't been able to do that. So now I just started doing those again. I've regressed a ton. I, I can't even do one full body weight Nordic but I'll show you where I'm at with that. Here we go. Okay, so with the uh, skater jumps, I think that's what they're called, it's nothing impressive, but going side to side, pausing while I jump side to side. I usually wear shoes when I'm doing this. Hopefully that's not too loud. Let me show again. All right, so for hopping on one leg, that's, that's just not something I can really do quite yet. It's, uh, and I'm not gonna even show you with my bare feet. It's just kind of scary and it does hurt my Achilles a little bit and I'd like to avoid the pain. This is the setup I've been doing. I like to be as um, accurate as possible with like measuring force, but since this band doesn't lend itself to, you know, consistent pressure, this is what I've been doing. I put my hand at about halfway down the band so obviously this isn't super accurate but it's as accurate as I can I can make it and then I set this bar at a certain height uh, on my squat rack so I have right now it's at like the 20 20th notch and I pull my hand all the way down to the bar and then I hop and this is uh, this is progressing for me from what I've done in the past so, I mean, they're not pretty hops, I'm not going high. I'm just starting to put a little more force on my Achilles. So obviously, the lower this was before, the more uh, force I'm taking off, the more weight I'm taking off of myself. And then as I put this up week after week, um, pretty soon there won't be any pressure. I could swap out the bands. I have some lighter bands, but this, this works well for this right now. Instead of hopping on on two feet, which I can kind of do, but it's uh, not the most comfortable. I don't have a lot of range of motion yet. Uh, let me just, I don't know if you can see, see, but see, I have a good amount of range of motion in this ankle, but this one's just not, not quite there yet. And my physical therapist doesn't want me uh, actively stretching for like six months. And I'm at 18 weeks now, which is like four, four months, I think. All right, so this is, my secret weapon right now is a trampoline. So it's just way easier for me to hop on the trampoline. I'm still putting force through my Achilles, but it's not nearly as great of a force. There's, you know, there's more of a rebound. There's more, um, the trampoline more gradually accepts my weight compared to the ground. So I've been doing a lot of this lately. And one thing that I've, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do an experiment with rebounding. Uh, that's what they call it. There's so many um, purported benefits to rebounding. I'm not sure what the scientific literature says about it, but I think I'm gonna start implementing rebounding as micro workouts. All right, so I'm gonna show you my Nordic hamstring setup. Okay, so this is the, I think it's called a Nordy stick. I don't know, I'll put the link in the description if you're interested and I strap this on, but can you see that? But as you can see, uh, it goes right over my Achilles. So my workaround for that are these, what are these called? I, I got these a long time ago when I tried CrossFit. They're basically Olympic weightlifting shoes, but they have this little notch here and the the pad fits perfectly right there in that little notch. I made a video on how to progress um, the Nordic hamstring curl. I, um, I use these bands. You can check out the video if you want. I went from not being able to do a Nordic 
to being able to do weighted Nordics. I think it took me less, definitely less than six months. So I've regressed. I used to be able to do at least 10 pounds for 10 times, but now I need this uh, little bar, this little band here. Okay, so I strap in. So this is where I'm at right now. I can do maybe about 10 reps like that. So that's it for this update. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I'm doing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope you like this video. See you on the next one.